Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Best regard to all and respected to our lecturer Dr. Abdul Rahman Ubaid We would like to present a poster about a group of the Holy Quran and the Orientalist literary perspective We are from group 3, KKA1, TKA2 Consists five members which are Nur Ifna binti Muhammad Azani, Nur Farhana binti Muhammad Kamal, Khadijah binti Abdul Jamil, Alia Najah binti Abdul Aziz, and Siti Nuhanisa binti Subali. Without wasting time, let's find out the detail about this book. group is the Holy Quran and the Orientalist Literary Perspectives by Taukir Alam. We move on to the other parts which is the biography of Osa. Professor Taukir Alam Falahi Kormatu Serkati Gaya Bihar had his early education and then went on to join Zamiatul Falah, a prominent institution in Bila Riyaganj Azamkar where he earned his al almiya and Al-Fadilah degrees. He came to Aligarh Muslim University in 1985 to feature his education, getting a Master of Art and Master of Philosophy in Arabic Literature from the Department of Arabic Aligarh Muslim University Aligarh. He then obtained his doctorate in the same department on the Holy Quran and the Orientalist. Professor Alam joined the department as research associate after achieving his doctorate. He joined the Faculty of Theology, Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh as a lecturer in Sunni Theology. On 11 May 1993, he was elevated to reader on 29 January 2004. He is now in a better position as a professor in Sunni Theology since 2010. Professor Alam, creative achievement can be found in the fields of Quraniyat, Arabic literature and comparative study of religion. He has 26 years of experience teaching with a focus on Tafsir and Tarih e Mazahib. Main content author, the Holy Quran as a revolutionary book has remained a topic of debate among Oriental and Western scholars. Scholars, both Muslim and non-Muslim, have exerted their fullest attention to highlight the Holy Quran ideological and literary perfection. The Holy Book's teachings, which are revolutionary in nature, give a full guide to the human person for choosing the right path as suggested by the omnipotent God for a successful existence in this world and the world hereafter. In this book, have asserted to highlight those English Orientalists who along with their creative endeavors in the divergent fields of intellect have either mainly or partly and dealt with the Holy Quran in its literary perspective. The book entitled The Holy Quran and Orientalist Literary Perspective consists of the following four chapters. Comprises four chapters along with a detailed introduction. The introduction highlights the importance of the caption, The Holy Quran and the Orientalist Literary Perspective, the relation of the Orientalism with Islam and its followers, the removal of certain confusion and elucidation of chapters of the book, and the relevant sources to evaluate the Quranic in their verse, of the Orientalist. In this book inserted both the group of the Occidental scholars showing their assertions in the specific field of the Holy Book, their literary work on the book is mainly highlighted. The first chapter of the book is the Holy Quran aspects of its teachings and literary merits. Orientalism a movement is the second chapter. Orientalists and their approach in the study of the Holy Quran literary perspective is the third chapter of this book. And lastly, the fourth, the last chapter, some outstanding Orientalists, a critical appreciation of their translation of the Holy Quran. Next, I will talk about discussion of our book review. So this book talk about aspect of the teaching and literary merits of the Holy Quran and the introduction of Orientalism and its criticism. For this book, the author explained in early chapter that the Quran is a book of guidance and a book of revolution which saved mankind from the dark age and described about the important feature of the authenticity of the Quran after that. While the Orientalism, the author explained clearly about the meaning of Orientalism, main stage and categories of 
orientalists that deal with the Holy Quran, the prophet of Islam and its culture. Next, about the criticism. There are several names of orientalists have been mentioned in this discussion. The first orientalist is Sir William Weir. He critiques the simple and interesting affairs in Islam to be awkward, worrisome and hateful. While the other orientalists named Sir Thomas Walker Arnold have made contribution to Islamic learning that are arguably the most valuable in the realm of Islamic learning. His book is not only an exemplary work of historiography but also a service that is straightforwardly performed by Sir Arnott to remove misconception about Islam. Uh, another discussion in this book is translating the Holy Quran's Arabic text into other languages. As we know, uh, the Holy Quran is the ultimate divine word sent to the entire globe by the omniscient last messenger. Muslims are obligated to communicate this timeless message to those who do not understand the spirit of the revelation or the Arabic language. But not all mankind can understand Arabic, so they are endeavors to translate the Holy Quran's Arabic text into other languages, particularly English, but it is difficult and time-consuming. So, Professor Arthur John Arbery is the final name on the list. Arbery has made commendable attempt to educate English-speaking world about Islam. His book, The Quran Interpreted, has garnered widespread claim from both Eastern and Western Academy. It remains an authentic English translation of the Holy Quran for English speakers. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nofarhana binti Muhammad Kamal. Matrix number 1201881. Okay, the last one is conclusion. Based on what we have discussed, it can be concluded that the Holy Quran is a written rule that explains our prescribed manners of living. This scripture is source of direction in all areas of life and serves to uphold human society. The border between truth and lies does not exist. Without a doubt, the objective of the Quran revelation is to sustain human society. While the Orientalists or Western scholars mentioned in this article strive in producing various literary perspectives, that try to prove that the Quran has similarities with Judaism or Christianity or other perspective related to Islam. As a result, as human beings who believe in the Quran, we may expand our understanding of the Quran so that we may defend it against the ideology of Western scholars who seek to uncover flaws in Quran and fabricate evidence that correct contradict the Quran truth and keep our generation from being deceived by their ideology. That's all from us. Thank you for watching.